Good morning. Welcome back. Bear Z A underscore 91. Go and follow him. He does great videos. Don't follow me. I'm just rambling on. I want to leave something for my seven-year-old son. A bit of wisdom in this clown world that we live in. Anyways, last video I said learn Linux. What is Linux? What is metabolic health? So I'm going to read to you something from Wikipedia. Not that you must go and believe whatever Wikipedia says. Do your own research. That's the whole point of this. Don't listen to me. Go and Google or whatever. Tor, DuckDuckGo, your own research. So what is Linux? Okay, Linux. Oh, whoops. There we go. Linux is a family of open source Unix-like operating systems based on the Linux kernel. An operating system kernel first released on September the 17th, 1991 by Linus Torvalds. Linux is typically packaged as a Linux distribution which includes the kernel and supporting software systems and libraries many of which are provided by the GNU GNU project many Linux distributions use the word Linux in their name but the free software foundation uses the name GNU slash Linux or GNU however you pronounce it anyways that's what Linux is it's freedom is it easy to use? No and yes. Is it hard to use? No and yes. Do you really want to learn about your computer? Yes. Is it Windows? Definitely not. Is it Mac OS? Definitely not. Now if you're using Windows and Mac OS because your work forces you to use it or your work uses it, I get it. That's your bread and butter. Don't mess with your bread and butter. You've got a family to support. However, in your home, on your personal laptop or PC, there's no reason why you should be using Mac OS or Windows. Windows especially now is becoming garbage with Billy Gates and all these crap. So use Linux. I'm not an expert in Linux. I'm a noob as they call it. Been on it now one month short of two years. It's a learning pro process and loving it. Anyway that's what Wikipedia says but go and do your own research. Then what is metabolic health? Now there's a website called January.ai. Yes I know and I chose this for a reason. The whole AI thing, I'm not for it. I believe it will be the end of humanity. The reason why I'm looking around me is because I'm in a public park and personal safety is of the utmost importance, no matter which country you're in. Some countries are safer than others. In the Republic of South Africa, depends where you are, not so much. But just personal awareness is the key. So, metabolic health are factors that govern blood sugar, waist circumference, blood pressure, cholesterol, triglycerides meaning that the medical experts want these numbers within the reason they want them healthy numbers and all of that but metabolic health is more than that it's about how you feel it's about how you age yes keeping those markers those lifestyle disease markers down with acceptable levels is good we can always argue what is acceptable levels again because they always fudge the numbers that's another story for another day so get your metabolic health in order try and eat less it's actually a good thing try and exercise and when i mean exercise you can actually walk that's exercise you don't need to go to a gym if you want to go to a gym awesome just be physically active whether you're working in your garden or on your roof or whatever to physical activity that's key cut out the refined sugars carbohydrates yeah more on this later so there you go bear ZA underscore 91. Go follow him. Cheers. See you later. Coming from a beautiful Cape Town, South Africa. Gonzalo Lira, I hope you are safe. Cheers for now.